What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that unboxing and installation. <laughs> nah, but, uh, alright y'all, so, I'm upgrading the deck, or some people call it the head unit, the radio, stereo, in a 2010 or 2010 uh, Chevy Tahoe all right so should be a pretty quick process I'm gonna break it all down for you guys you know I've done a lot of uh, radio installations and car repairs in my life so I'm uh, gonna try to share with you guys what I know about installing a car stereo so you don't have to go to these shops and get ripped off the same way you do when you go to get a car repair when you go to a shop to put in a stereo or a sound system, they're going to rip you off. It's, it's, it's way easier than what you think, as long as you got the right tools and willing to put the effort in. So, let's get to this, man. I hope y'all enjoy. Alright, first of all, what you got to do is there are clips behind this piece right here. This is just a trim piece. Uh, it's actually plastic. It's not real wood. Wish it was, but it's not real wood. I think in the newer uh, Suburbans, they are putting real oak wood in the, uh It's like a I'm not sure if it's like a uh, actual wood piece or if it's just like a Paneling over a plastic piece, but I know this one is not wood, but so you're gonna go behind her either with a Razor blade try not to cut anything some type of old credit card or something that you're not using or a if you have a pry uh, a Pry bar or a uh, Plastic paint scraper will work actually probably really well So I'm gonna get that piece off and then I get back with you guys for the next step uh, Tools you're gonna need are those dash screws are seven millimeter socket, socket wrench. I used a credit card and then a little pry tool to get the trim piece off. So just stick the credit card back there or whatever cards you got. Uh, make a little gap, then stick the pry piece or the pry tool in there or a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver if you have it in there so you don't damage the trim and don't yank 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 you know you're gonna have to slowly uh, pop every clip out because you don't want to break them you know see one stayed in hopefully I can just get that to go right back on how it's supposed to but I'll get y'all once we're taking these screws out get y'all so we got the trim piece off now we have to remove these bolts I'm not sure if you have to remove all of them Cause it looks like one, two, three, four are the ones holding the actual uh, head unit or deck in there. So I'm gonna just try to remove those four first, and if that doesn't work, then I'll let you know that you have to remove all of them. We'll be back. All right. So yes, to remove the head or deck, you must remove all six screws. Which is four up her, then it's two down here holding the uh, thermostat in. So you gotta remove all of those, and you actually have to kind of like manipulate it. You actually have to take this out first. I think you actually might have to take all. Yeah, you guys actually have to take all eight screws out on this version because if you keep yanking on, well, I guess you might be able to just. Move this forward a little bit and pull it out. But see, they have it like daisy chains with all these clips. So these two clips down here are holding this in. These two clips right here are holding this in. So you gotta pull all four of them out. Or at least loosen these up so you can get this out far enough so you can get this out. All right, I'll be back once I got it out. All right, so what I found was just unloosen those two bottom screws holding the cigarette lighter in and then that will loosen this up just enough to push it forward 
so you can get the head out. Got to take out three wires. One of them was the antenna wire, which is this right here, which was really stuck for some reason. Number two is this wire. I don't know what it controls, but I'm guessing that's the one that goes to the dash, I mean to the stern wheel controls, and these are your two radio wires. So I've already popped those out. You got to push this clip in pretty well to get this to come off. So don't just yank on it. You got to push that clip in, and then it'll pop off. Same with these two. Pop them all off. There's your head unit, the old one. All right, folks. All right, y'all, the installation, uh, I guess you would call it wiring and uh, equipment you need to complete this job on a two, 2010 Tahoe is going to be this. This is your wiring harness for your new um, head unit, deck, whatever you want to call it. All right, got to have that. You see the price tag on it. It is ridiculous. I remember back about five ten years ago before all this technology stuff hit a harness might cost you thirty dollars at the most and that was super expensive now they're nearly three hundred dollars I got this one on a discount for two hundred dollars and he discounted it again um, fifteen dollars so I actually paid like 180 for it best bet if you're not in a hurry get this from off Amazon you're probably going to pay at least half of what I paid. So if I paid 180, you might be able to get it for 120, 100 bucks off of Amazon. All right. Next, you're going to need what they call a dash kit. This is what's going to hold the new head unit deck, whatever you want to call it, stereo, into place inside of the dashboard once you've installed it. Depending on the type of head unit you got, more than likely you're going to get some type of screen touch screen whatever if you want to watch or play your music and all that stuff the way you like to you know while moving even though they say it's illegal and it's dangerous this is the part you need so this is a parking brake bypass and you need this part in order to play a DVD while in motion yeah it's silly but these are the new stipulations that they're putting on these cars for safety reasons so this was 20 bucks this was 30 bucks this was 200 bucks you do the math not happy with what i had to pay but it is what it is man so I guess we can unbox a couple of these. I'll unbox this one for you. And we'll unbox them as we go along. The head unit, I'm going to do a full unboxing of that. You know, you can go back and watch that. Uh, I'll probably put it out before I put this video out. Let me get this out of the box because I need two hands and we'll come back. Alright, this is everything that comes into the box. Now, some of these wires, I have no idea what I need them for. But we're going to figure it out. <laughs> All the way. Alright, this is the main one that we need right here. Then it comes with this. Something for the navigation system. And you got this. Got a antenna uh, extender. USB cord for some reason. this thing not even sure what it is but we're gonna figure it out <laughs> all right let's get it all right this is what I have rigged up so far so the wire that comes in the wiring harness that looks like this it's got the chime I don't know if you guys can see that and all that stuff on it navigation outputs and all that and this is how you wire up your speakers so this comes with the deck this comes in the wiring harness kit. So you gotta wire up all your speakers. It's a big long wire, green wire coming out of the one that came with your deck that says parking brake on it. Remember this? Well, I told you that's the bypass. <clears throat> There's supposed to be a wire in there that you have to hook up. 
Yep, you see it? The green wire to that green wire. Then you run the black wire to the black wire, the yellow wire to the yellow wire. And he said the last one, you don't need it. Not for this one. If you had, if I had a Pioneer deck, then I would hook that one up. But I don't have a Pioneer. I mean, not a Pioneer, but a uh, what is Alp Alpine deck. You hook that one up. But I don't have an Alpine, so I have a Pioneer. So we just need the green, black, yellow, and that's it. So once I have all this hooked up, man, I'm going to get back with you. I'm not going to bore y'all with me wiring up everything, but I'll give you a, a quick look of how it all looks once I get to the end. Because I don't have anybody to hold the camera. My tripod is too big to put it up in here. So just got to give y'all pieces of uh, the work I've been doing. Actually, it's the blue and white is the remote. The black is the ground. The green is the park and break. And like I said, the yellow and black foot break for alpine only so we don't need the yellow and black he actually told me wrong so there you go there's a look at it all right y'all so i pretty much got everything hooked up the way i believe it's supposed to be on my wires haven't got everything taped off yet but i want to check it make sure there was some extra stuff that I don't believe I have on her so it's like navigation stuff and uh, this USB thing I'm really just not sure where it hooks up at but it came off of there so I'm trying to figure out where that goes at before I try it out but other than that I think we're pretty much done here so I'll make sure I got everything hooked up right. Make sure I don't have any extra wires or anything laying around that's supposed to be hooked up. Uh, this, I'm not sure what this goes. This goes to the reverse camera, matter of fact. And I don't have a reverse camera yet, so I'm just going to leave it off. And it says it goes to the subwoofer, but I'm not sure where it hooks up at. So, we're just going to try it without this. And I'm probably going to end up having to take this USB thing back off too because I just don't know where it goes at. So we're going to try it without that as well. And see what happens, y'all. Alright, let's get back to it. What the hell was that about? You were speeding. He wanted you to pull over. You're lucky you didn't get a ticket. Can we please just listen to the radio? You don't want to listen to your wife's greatest hits? Alright people, so we got it pretty much installed. I'm going to check out the... Make sure this little reverse thing works. And the window cars and gear. Not sure, once again, what this USB thing goes to. We'll have to figure that out at some point. Uh, the harness they gave me doesn't actually clamp all the way in, so I'm going to have to figure out some way to tape that down or something to make sure it doesn't come out. Other than that, I'm pretty much done. I got to install the dash kit, and pretty much that's it. So I'll show you once it's all done, man. Once again... That looks. Let's get it all put together, man. Gotta go to work. All right, so we finally got the uh, dash kit put in. Just gotta put those screws back and the trim piece back. That's a quick look before we put it all back in. Be right back. All right, folks. There you have it. All installed. Everything returned. Nothing broke. All screws put back. If you like this. Uh, installation slash unboxing let me know down in the comment section man leave me a like you know thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you guys think got any questions just drop them down below and i think that's it we out of here let me see if this will work now nah, it won't let me play it and record at the same time <laughs> all right man we out of here